Hey everybody, and thanks for watching. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do audio to MIDI conversion in a DAW that is not utilizing audio random access. Now, if you don't know what audio random access is, uh, I've done videos here in the series to help explain that. So definitely look for that and watch that. Now, in this example, we're using Pro Tools. Now, Pro Tools doesn't utilize audio random access, so we have to utilize Melodyne conventionally. And by conventionally, I mean, let's say we're going to pick a track, our pick, guitar picking here, and let's take a quick listen. Now, let's say we wanted to convert this to MIDI. What we first have to do is we need to analyze what Melodyne. So here in our plugins, I'm going to choose Celemony and Melodyne. Uh, Melodyne. We'll put Melodyne Mono on there and we'll see that it's now active here in the top left field. So by conventional audio editing, what I mean is it needs to detect the audio in real time. So you have to play it back in its entirety. So it does take longer. Unlike Audio Random Access where it's integrated into the DAW, it's just a lot more speedier. But the quality is still equal and that's what you have to remember in this case. So let's activate transfer and I'm going to press play. And now you can see the audio is being analyzed and detected in real time. And I'm using a very short file here in this demo just to, you know, present this, this information for you. And when it's done, you'll see that it correctly identified it as polyphonic. I press stop and there is our polyphonic waveform. Here's the guitar picking plotted out for us. So I want to go back and I want to also tell you the most important power tip I can give anybody in audio to MIDI is to do the work. And what I mean is every little bit of audio you see here on the screen is going to be assigned a MIDI note. And that's the problem. You just want the musical content to get the note down here. What we have here is it separated the picking out for us. So I'm going to come up to our monkey wrench. And we're going to utilize our Venetian blinds. And what this is going to do is it's going to transfer any audio above that note back down into the regions below it. It's not deleting it. It's just reconsolidating it. And I want the picking to go in there too. Anyways, so what I want to do is not assign a MIDI note to anything that, I, that isn't MIDI worthy. Let me go back to my edit window and that looks a lot cleaner. Now, there's a few more things we can clean up here. I'll select these notes, double click on them and we'll do that manually. And this one here, there you go. Uh, let's see, now let's also delete this first part here. And that looks a lot cleaner. Now, these will just get the MIDI notes that we're looking for. Cool, okay, so now what we wanna do is Take this, we want to convert it to MIDI. Up here in settings, we're going to choose save as MIDI. And we're going to give it any MIDI name we want. You know, I don't have a bass guitar. So let's do MIDI uh, for bass. And I'll save it. Now, remember where you save your MIDI to. Right now, it's going to my bounces in my session folder. Okay, so we converted that to MIDI. It was pretty easy. Now in Pro Tools here, all you have to do is come up to File, for example, and choose Import MIDI. Navigate to your folder, MIDI for Bass, there it is, and choose Open. And we want to assign it to an instrument track here and choose OK. And there you have it, Audio to MIDI. So this guitar picking here has now been converted to MIDI here. And if I play this, there's obviously nothing there because there's nothing assigned yet. Take a listen. See, nothing. So on our instrument, let's, let's add an instrument here. Let's go to expand. And I know they've got some, some bass tones in there. And let's, let's assign an instrument there. Let's go to basses and choose, um, how about a double bass? So now we're going to have a bass guitar, audio to MIDI conversion and a bass playing along with this picking. Let's take a listen. You can change these and audition different ones in real time. All right, let's go to that one. Now, if you want it to sound lower, more actual bass, you can open this up in a MIDI editor 
And then you can actually go in and um, take the notes and assign them to a pit, different pitch location. Remember, that's really part of the, um, the power of audio to MIDI is where do you want that audio to go, okay? All right. All right, here we go. Let's get back to our session here. Okay, so there you have it. How to convert audio to MIDI and assign some virtual instruments and start having some fun. This is just a small example of how creative audio to MIDI can be here using a conventional process uh, for transferring the audio in Melodyne here in Pro Tools.